Okay, I have the old um, Cooler Master CPU cooler here, and I'm going to try to use this RGB fan in the top of the CyberPower case as an exhaust. So I'm going to push these clips that are on the side here. There's some clips. I think there's two of them. And see if it'll come off. Here goes nothing. kind of sharp so be careful and there it is it's separated from the um, heat core it's got these two clips okay you can see here that the arrows are pointing to where the clips connect to the top of the case it fits really well make sure that you put the cable for the fan on the top right like the one o'clock position on this picture so that you have enough slack to get the RGB connect. Okay, here I show where the RGB connector connects to the existing RGB cable that was originally used on the um, CyberPower cooler. Um, you just use the same cable over again and connect to that. You have to make sure you have enough slack. That's about it. Now here I show you where SysFan1 is on the motherboard. It's near the CPU, close to the side of the case. That's where you connect this um, fan to. Okay, now the fan's installed. You can see that it's um, running properly and RGB is running. Um, the exhaust is coming out. If you feel up there, you can feel that the exhaust is coming out. That's what you want. This mesh is a little tight. I think it actually blocks some of the exhaust, but I'm not sure. It's, it might be nominal. And then we use SIV to adjust the fan speed, and I'll show you that in a second here. Okay, I'm just going to show you the um, SIV for the um, CPU at idle, which is what I'm showing now. Okay, this is the CPU at full load. You can see that the fan is running at 100% to keep it at 74 degrees right now. Okay, this is SIS-1 at um, idle and it stays at that temperature on the in this case pretty much no matter what load on the low end anyway 31 degrees and it stays at that load you have to adjust the left side to get the fan to even stop but I have the top limit set to like 34 degrees which is the high end of that area I'm not really seeing a difference between having the top fan in or off at the same time. Maybe a one or two degree difference, but the area that the fan is sensing stays around 33 degrees, even at a load. And when it's not at a load, we're talking 31, 32. So the fan on top really isn't doing anything. I guess since it doesn't cost anything because you use the fan from the old CPU cooler, it's not a bad idea installing this, but um, I'm not seeing any advantage to putting a fan on top, but um, I'd, I'd keep it there anyway.